Bob, and it is a foggy one. Right now you're taking a live look outside 84 in Hartford near exit 46. Very limited visibility as Bob just showed you. So give yourself a few extra minutes before you head outside this morning. We'll take you down along the shoreline. Not much better there in West Haven 95 near exit 41 and 42. Uh, you can see the reflection there with all of the locally dense fog as you're heading out for your Tuesday morning drive. We'll send you over to the maps. We do have a few scattered overnight construction projects. They should wrap up in the next hour, but so far that's the only thing to slow you down. Heidi and Ted. All right, storms come through and today's a perfect example. Temperatures in the 40s with all this rain shower activity. We just can't be able to put all the pieces together to get some big time snow. Yeah, a lot of rain, a lot of wintry mixes in the forecast, but not a lot of snowstorms this year. And we look out 10 days and we don't find we have a little over seven. So we had one heck of a snowstorm in December and really not much since then for the month of January in total. We saw just over three inches of snow. We typically see over a foot for the month of January and so far in February. All we have so far is a trace when we should be closer to four inches to date for February. The February total is a little bit bigger than that. So when all is said and done, we're right where we should be for our year to date total. But there's not a whole lot of winter in the upcoming weeks. We'll talk about why coming up at 530. All right, Caitlin, thank you. The vote tallying is already underway in New Hampshire. Coming up, we'll take you to the uh, polls for a look at the race for the White House and the Granite State. And President Trump's new budget is out. No you need to give yourself just a few extra minutes. We're dealing with some wet roads from that light drizzle out there and also locally dense fog. This is a live look outside Bridgeport 95 near exit 27. You can see the limited visibility there. A little bit of road spray as well. Give yourself some extra room between you and the car in front of you. We'll show you a live look outside in Farmington 84 west of exit 37. Very similar scene there as well. Over to the maps. No major delays right now. Our overnight construction has cleared my guesses because of the wet weather. So nothing to slow you down if you're heading out at 523 this morning. Heidi and Ted. All right. The wet roads and the fog. It's a morning where you need to take it a little bit slowly. By this afternoon, we start to see some improvement. We'll still have a few scattered showers out there. But then by this evening, no major concerns. We'll have clearing skies. Nothing to slow you down as you're heading home from work this evening or getting the kids from the bus stop. Otherwise, things are looking pretty nice early this morning. Our scattered overnight construction has already cleared. Nothing but green speed data early this morning. We'll give you a live look outside, show you what's going on live in East Hartford. This is 84 east of exit 56. Roads are still pretty quiet, but you can see the fog out there. We'll take it down along the shoreline down to New Haven. This is 95 near exit 49. Lots of water on the lens there where the rain is starting to pick up just a little bit more. Heidi and Ted, over to you. Oh. Now, looking at the 10 day forecast, less month and a half, January warm or mild, so far February too. Yeah, there's been a lot of buzz on social media lately and even just at the grocery store that winter's over. Mm, we'll see. Yeah, we still got March. Do we Saturday, need to remember the past few Marches? Yeah, Saturday morning's gonna be five above zero, so that's wintry, yeah. but there's no precip with it. So. Yeah, the overall trend though, as we look out eight to 14 days with the Climate Prediction Center is warmth. You can see most of the eastern United States under those temperatures that are above average, a little bit cooler the further west you head out. So if you're looking to ski this year, maybe make a trip out west because we are talking about a big bubble of warmth that will take over most of the east coast as we look out eight to 14 days out. You can see we're really right on the brink of those really warm temperatures that are being forecasted just to our south and west. Now, granted, this is just an overall trend, but this is what we look at when we start to look more than 10, 11, 12 days out. So we are looking to stay above average for the long term for now. But as we just mentioned, winter isn't over yet. Heidi and Ted. Give yourself a little extra time before you head out the door. No major delays right now. As you look at the maps, our scattered overnight construction already cleared because of the wet weather. We'll give you a live look outside and you can see the road spray, the fog live in Middletown. This is Route 9 near exit 14. Traffic still very light. Any cars out there moving along just fine, but a little bit slowly this morning and down along the shoreline. Things still looking pretty nice. 95 in West Haven near exits 41 and 42. You can see again all that road spray. Give yourself a little extra room between you and the car in front of you this morning, but otherwise looking pretty nice. Ted looks.